we we had had a talk pregame and just you know talked about competing a little bit and what the midweek game means and, and in terms of um you know what we're trying to accomplish and i thought the guys really responded i thought we competed for nine innings tonight um you know i, I think one thing and i think i said this last tuesday as well one thing i don't want to get lost is how good trey was tonight um did a phenomenal job um the box score doesn't quite show what he did um he did a, a fantastic job tonight um you know late there i thought andrew papp did a really good job keeping that inning to a one um had a chance to really explode on him and he, he does what he always does and um you know minimize the damage but I thought offensively, um, you know, you look at one base running mistake over nine innings. And other than that, I thought we really competed in our bats. Um, you know, had a lot of quality contact, a lot of quality at bats. And, um, you know, you, you got to feel, you know, leave here feeling good going into the weekend offensively and defensively. Trey was able to do some good things against Wake and then build on that. What, is, what kind of stood out to you, just kind of the progression he's starting to make? Yeah, I think you're just seeing a lot of separation in his pitches. Um, you know, the change-ups really play, and that's obviously his best pitch. But um, you're, you're, you're starting to see that fastball velocity climb a little bit, and, and that separates between, you know, fastball and change-up. And um, really playing off that, he's doing a good job keeping it down. And, um, yeah, just really competing out there. I think he's doing a good job of minimizing free bases, um, staying out of the middle of the plate. I think it's late in the Lipscomb series, you're able to get guys on early in innings and have productive outs to either move them or score them. And it seemed like for a while that's sort of what you were doing today of getting guys on and you know, productive grounds out, sack flies, base running. Is, did that kind of remind you at all or what's – What's kind of your outlook on the way the offense was able to capitalize on some of those chances? Yeah, yeah. I, th I think early on it was very similar. Um, you know, obviously, you know, Kendall did a good job of late there of, you know, that triple that scored a guy from first. But other than that, I, th I think you nailed it. You know, uh, the difference between Lipscomb and here is, um, you know, we were able to have multiple runs scoring in an inning, and at Lipscomb we, we were at ones. Um, you know, thankfully we did that four times and only gave up three on Sunday. But, um, yeah, I thought we were able to actually have a big inning tonight, which was, you know, fantastic. Um, I thought some guys made some adjustments throughout uh, the game. You know, I think specifically, you know, Drum Heller on the sack fly um, in the third there, you know, coming off a strikeout at bat, and he's in an 0-2 count. And, kind of fights his way back and finds a way to get a ball to right field. You know, Kendall had a phenomenal night and, you know, Andrew Terrell coming off the bench and getting a pinch hit um, when we subbed him out for, um, for Dalton there uh, with the, with the matchup that favored him gets it, gets a hit and a pinch hit. And then, you know, Phil Cole late, another matchup pinch hit and he gets a walk. Um, so two guys came off the bench tonight and, you know, had a really good, had really good at bats, both got on base. Um, so, you know, that's gotta be a positive, you know, in terms of guys staying engaged on the bench and, um, but yeah, I, th I think all in all, it was a pretty, pretty complete night offensively. Maybe just touch on Kendall the way, you know, a little bit of a rough start to start the season, but the last 20 plus games or so, he's kind of the player that we've grown accustomed to a little bit. Just what, what have you seen to play from him? Yeah, I think he's been great. You know, I think one thing that always gets lost, and I know you're asking that from an offensive perspective, but the one thing that, that gets lost sometimes is how good he is defensively. Um, he's I've said on numerous occasions, you know, how improved he is out there, but he does a great job out there. Um, really holds down the left spot very well. And yeah, he's, 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 he's doing well. And this is, uh, this is, this is what he's capable of doing. Um, and, you know, we'll have that for the rest of the year and excited to watch what he accomplishes.